I said in the ring after, the key to life is happiness, you know? And at the end of the day, I just want him to be happy. He's given his whole life since he started to the sport of boxing. And people don't realize that what a bubble it is in the life and world of Anthony Joshua. You know, when he, everybody in the country knows who he is, everybody's got an opinion of who he is. He's in the gym all the time with his team. He's, he's living up in Loughborough, he's away from home. You know, there isn't anyone I know that's more dedicated to the sport than him. And sometimes people don't understand the pressures that are on people's shoulders. But he's never ducked a challenge, he's never shirked the pressure. He's always tried to give his time for people and he's always tried to inspire the next generation. He's been an amazing ambassador. For the first time in boxing, you see all these complete dickheads, many of them tonight on social media, they've got too much to say for himself, that want to pretend they're good people, that actually aren't role models, that aren't ambassadors, that aren't people that I would want my kids to look up to. This is someone that I want my kids to look up to. But, but, for the first time, and that responsibility is a huge burden. And he's always felt that responsibility. If he's out in public, he gives everybody his time, right? He's one of the nicest guys you can ever meet. And he's a competitor, he's a winner. And when you don't win, and you see, what you saw tonight was a raw emotion, a real person that was feeling the pressure that wanted to win so badly. And people need to realize that you live in an online world where it's just, Opinions stick abuse and he will he'll never tell you that the pressure he, he sees that or he feels it But it's impossible not to so what I want to see is I want to see him happy And I think what we want to see is we want to see him be active Too many gaps between fights too many stadium fights, you know from the Dillian White fight at the O2 To Charles Martin at the O2 to Dominic Brazil at the O2 to Eric Molina at Manchester Arena to Vladimir Klitschko at Wembley Stadium, to Carlos Takam at the Millennium Stadium, to Joseph Parker at the Millennium Stadium, to Alexander Povetkin at Wembley Stadium, to Andy Ruiz at Madison Square Garden, to Andy Ruiz in Riyadh, to Kubrat Pulev at the O2, to Alexander Usyk at Tottenham Hotspur, to Alexander Usyk. That is the run that Anthony Joshua ha has been on. No Tom Schwartz, no Sefer Sefer. No, I do, no, but I do, because you don't, you don't get the credit. No, but it, I'll, I'm going to give you the credit because at the end of the day, you've had to step up to carry the sport in our country. It's true. You know, we've joked, we've joked before. You said, God, I have to have all these tough fights. You saw people have these easy fights. You never had them. You never wanted them because you want to create a resume. Yeah, but because you're a fighter, you're a winner. You wanted to fight the elite. You fought the pound for pound, back to back, right? At Tottenham, you lost. Tonight, you lost a split decision to the best fighter in the sport. Everybody else would have vacated the WBO belt before the Tottenham fight. So I will say, because people take easy touches, fans moan about fighters ducking fights, taking easy touches. He's never taken an easy touch. And we should be very, very proud of him.